right, we are back with today. Food loves football. Getting ready for Sunday night's matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Philadelphia Eagles. That's a good game. Two five and one teams right there. Andrew Ray's here, known successful YouTube channel. Babish Culinary Universe is huge. It's got two recipes that are perfect for game day gathering from the new cookbook, Basics with Babish. Andrew, this cookbook's incredible, man. I mean, we got a lot of cookbooks, but this is like the new must have cookbook because of two reasons. First of all, it's not just recipes, you're learning techniques. Mm. Second of all, in the culinary world, it seems like everybody on social media is quick to put out what looks perfect. No one ever screws up. And this book leans into the idea of screwing up. Yes, exactly. Everything I know about cooking, I learned from making mistakes. Ah. So I wanted to make the readers a little bit more comfortable with making mistakes and seeing them as learning opportunities rather than failures. I love that. Yeah. It's fantastic. So congrats on the book. Thank you so much. Go pick it up. So let's start with Miami. We think of Miami, where are we going with the quesadillas here, huh? Well, I mean, yeah. No, so I picked a couple recipes that I thought would be great for game day. So we're starting with some really easy chicken quesadillas. All right. Uh, uh, Miami, you know, the perfect poolside food. If you're if you're ordering food poolside, I love the quesadillas. Yes, so we're going to start there. I've got a chicken breast that's been butterflied. That means we're cutting it down the yep. center, opening it up like a book, pounding it out just a little bit, just yep. enough to demonstrate for TV. And then uh, we're making a quick and easy marinade. I've got, here we go, a couple tablespoons of oil. Yep. Yeah, where's my beer? Yeah, um, I got you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yep. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> you guys, you guys think of everything. Beer. Cheers. <laughs> Um, so I've got uh, equal parts. We got equal parts uh, vegetable oil and uh, lime juice. Yep. I've got uh, paprika. I've got cumin. I've got cayenne pepper, and I've got oregano. Beautiful. Putting that in there, and I've got some garlic, which I've just crushed yep. uh, because if you if you pa if you mince it too finely or pass it through a garlic crusher, you know you got little bits that are going to burn when you put it in the pan. So I like keeping them whole so it gets the flavor there without burning it too much. Good. All right. Yeah. So the, how long are you going to marinate the uh, pounded butterfly? Chicken breast in exactly. this. Exactly. Uh, this is going to be going matter for of hours or like overnight or is it 30 matter? minutes up to four hours. Oh, okay. You don't want to go too much longer than that. Otherwise, you could end up with uh, not very, uh, you know, a little over tender chicken. How's the chicken so. quesadilla, everybody? Quesadilla. 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 You know, it's, you could just buy a rotisserie chicken and do that. Yeah. And that's yeah. fine. But to go to this, this is the yeah, extra love you need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That works really great because once you've got the leftover chicken, you want to let this cool completely because um, if the chicken's too hot, you're going to end up with a drippy quesadilla. Nobody right. wants that. Nobody wants that. So leftover not rotisserie, poolside. perfect. Yep. So <laughs> not, not very poolside. <laughs> so yeah, this is going in the skillet. Yep. Right in. Al, you butterfly your uh, chicken breast? Uh, I never use chicken breast. Yeah, you like thighs. thighs. You're a thigh yeah, guy. But I butterfly a thigh. Yeah. I, no, it's the best way to go. Yeah, With chicken it. breast, you want to get it thin. You want to cook it fast yeah, More hot. surface area yeah. for a And then that, that way it doesn't dry out. All right, I'll, I'll cook oh, this Oh, yeah, sucker. keep an eye on that for me. Yeah. Thank and you so then once much. it's done, you, sh you shred it. And once you got it's one, done. Let's build one. Yeah, so once it's done, you're letting the, the breast cool completely. Yep. So that it's not too drippy. Lay out some chicken. Slice it nice and thin. Mm -hmm. Cheese, of course. Yep. Two kinds of cheese, of course. Of cheese. Extra cheese. Keep it going. Then we've got peppers and onions. Very simple. These have been sauteed with some simple oil and here. spices. Yep. Back go, in the pan. Press it down. Right in the pan. Now, I like using a lot of oil in my pan so you get really crispy outside, so it's almost like eating a tortilla chip quesadilla. Yep. You can throw down some oil, or you could just spray this guy with some nonstick spray. Okay. Works great either way. Throw it down. Maybe in a slightly bigger pan than this. That's fine. <laughs> so this will get crispy. You don't yeah, have to cover it or anything like that, right? To get extra melty. And then serve it up I mean, with your favorite topping. That, that is goes. beautiful. All right, we got about a minute Not and a half. At all. For Philadelphia. Here we go. For Mike Feldman's Eagles, Savannah. Big game, really important game. What are we doing here? Philly cheesesteak? <laughs> Take on. Got to do Philly cheesesteak. Yep. So we're sauteing peppers and onions in this pan over here. Yep. We'll just get that going. Just so we'll pretend that we're doing it. Oh, thank you very much. Got it. Thank all right. Yourself. Then once those are sauteed, cooled, we're going to lay them out. On a piece of flank steak. Now this uh, flank steak has been butterflied as well. Oh, wow. That means we're 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 cutting it right through the center, opening it up like a book, pounding it out slightly, mm -hmm. and then we're lining it with all of our beautiful toppings. Mm -hmm. And of course, lots and lots of cheese. Are you a, a, a provolone or a whiz or an American? I I don't have a preference. I don't know. What about you guys? Cheese Just steak cheese. is supposed to have wit. Wh whiz. Wit. In wit. Philly, they wit, say wit. wit or wit out. Oh, right. Wit. Ah. That's a, definitely they no say. cheese. Wit. Of course. Wit. I like wit. wit. <laughs> <laughs> These what are, are going to be all wit. We'll, it, we'll, we'll throw some uh, whiz right on at the end. Okay, but perfect. In, oh, inside, we're going to do uh, probably Butterfly in the flank. That is, I've yep. never heard of that. That's good. Now you're going to roll it up. And then we're going to roll it up, and we're rolling it so that the grain is going this way. Right, because ultimately so you're going to slice against that grain. Exactly. So yep. once it's like this, we're going to slice it That's this cool. way. Yep. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, tied it off. So like that a way, 
the grain of the meat is running. Yeah, the this way it's nice and tender. Right. If you got it going the how's other it, way, how's it's going to be chopped. It's amazing. Not delicious. Mm -hmm. Throw it Did down. Well, grill it. Wait, when for would a few you do the whiz when you're doing that? I mean, I, I, thank you to Andrew, guys. Today.com <laughs> slash food. We'll you can get later. all the recipes there. If you guys can just discuss this later, it'd be great. The book is incredible. Basics with Babbage. Pick it up. Available for pre order. In stores next week.